pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, Victor. I am Silver. Hey! Digby was a thin, wiry man whose explosive temper was a cover-up for what he lacked in strength and courage. Pete owned a small pig farm near the town of Stockton, Texas, where he lived with his 10-year-old orphan grandson, Bob. Pete finished loading several small pigs onto his farm wax, intending to take them to the stockyard in town. There. Last we got those ordinary critters into the wagon. Gosh, Grandpa. I wish you'd raise something else besides pigs. Huh. Nothing wrong with pigs, Bobby. Don't cost much to feed them. Folks out here eat plenty of bacon. But in town the other day, a man asked me if I was kin to the pig man. What? Who was he? I don't know, but he was a big man. Sort of tough looking. Oh. Well, we look at this time. Let's get onto the wagon seat and start for town with these critters. <laughs> get it! Get up there! Come on! Get up there! That morning in town, three men stood across bank talking in low voices. Foxy Gill, a top crook with many robberies to his credit, glanced toward the bank, then spoke to Sam and Jay, his partners in crime. There's only one hombre in the bank now. Soon as he comes out, he'll saunter over and go inside. You two cover the bank workers while I get the cash from the teller. Right. Our horses are at the hitch rack right in front of the bank. Good. I have this small satchel to put the cash into. There goes the last bank customer. Let's go. After robbing the bank, Foxy and his pals covered their trail, then circled to the opposite side of the town. Easy, Eddie, 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 Eddie. Where are we heading for, Foxy? Place I used once before in this territory, Sam. A natural cave in the hills, not far from here. You think it's safe to hide out so close? Yeah, for a short time. We covered our tracks well, so there's no danger of a posse finding that cave. Let's get a move on. Right. Get up there. Get up, get up there. Get up there. slow-moving wagon along the same trail toward town. A short time after the three crooks had turned off to ride to their hideout, Bobby was saying, Grandpa, what is it, son? I was thinking, do we have to sell my pig, Herbert? <laughs> Whatever possessed you to call him Herbert, I'd like to know. Well, because he's fat and sort of pink-looking. Like Mr. Herbert at the bank. Oh, no, like Herbert doesn't hear about that. He sure feel insulted. But Herbert isn't like the other pigs. Oh, pigs is pigs, son, and nothing could change it. You did a good job raising uh, uh, Herbert by yourself. And I told you you could use the money to buy new clothes and boots. But I changed my mind. I want to keep Herbert. I don't want new clothes or boots, Grandpa. Oh, now uh, stop sniveling, boy. Pigs are raised for selling. That pig will be sold along with the rest. Who ever heard of somebody getting to like a pig? By Jiminy, I... <laughs> Steady there! Oh, oh, steady there! Grandpa, look there on the trail, a big swing! Oh, easy there! Oh, oh, hold there! Let's have him hold him! They're running away! Oh, hold on, Bobby, hold on! All right. Hang on, Bobby, we're going downhill and coming to a turn! Oh, hold there! Oh, oh, watch out! Oh. The farm wagon 
struck a protruding rock on the sharp curve and overturned. The traces broke. The horses ran on, and the pigs were thrown out onto the road. Oh. Oh. Bobby. Bobby. Uh, I'm all right, Grandpa. Are you hurt? I'll uh, tell you in a minute what I... When I try to move. Get out of here, you smirking hunk of pork. Get out of here. <laughs> you are hurt, Grandpa. You sat up and threw that stone all right. Well, gee, <laughs> that's right. Reckon I didn't bust any bones. Oh, what? Sure got bruised up a little, though. Yeah, can still get around all right. Oh, tarnation, take it. Now we got to round up the horses, then ride the wagon and find the pig. Grandpa, look. A masked man and an Indian bringing back our team. Oh, those outlaws are trying to steal our horses. Well, now where's my doggone gun? Over there in the ground. I'll get it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You seem to have had trouble, mister. What do you mean, seem to have? We have plenty. Now you two hombres come along to add to it. By Jiminy, if I had my gun, I'd... Both of you. You must Boy, hold gun. <laughs> Put down the gun, son. We're not outlaws. We're here to help you. Well, if you really mean what you say, stranger, I don't savvy that mask. Uh, maybe you hear a uh, lone ranger. I have. My dad used to talk about him. Dad was a sheriff before he got killed. He said the lone ranger rode a big white stallion and wore a black mask and used silver bullets. Uh, gosh. Are you really the Lone Ranger? Yes, Bobby, and he's Tonto. Well, I'll be jiggered. <laughs> of course, I kind of had the idea you was all the time. Otherwise, I'd have got that gun from Bobby and I... I'm sure you'd have caused us plenty of trouble, Mr... Uh... Uh, I'm Pete Digby. This is Bobby, my grandson. Oh. Got a pig farm back up the trailer piece. Uh, we were taking ten pigs to town when the horses spied a rattler and lit out. And we had this accident. Now the pigs are wandering back in the brush. Don't worry, Pete. I'll I'll help you find them and get started for town. Soon the wagon was ready, and all but one of the pigs had been found. A short search for the missing animal proved fruitless, and Pete decided to go on without it. I reckon we're lucky to find nine out of the ten pigs, mister. No use wasting more time looking for it. But, Grandpa, the one that's missing is Herbert. Herbert? <laughs> the boy raised the pig and named it Herbert. He sort of took a liking to it. Uh, Herbert is different from other pigs. Oh, now, Bobby, no use getting upset over a pig. Mister, thanks a lot for helping us like you did. That's all right, Pete. We're glad we came along. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye, for a while. Goodbye. Goodbye, Bobby. Goodbye. Easy, sir. Easy, fellow. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Pete Digby went on to town where he disposed of the nine pigs and learned of the bank robbery. It was around noon when he and Bobby returned to the farmhouse and had lunch. Then Pete went into the bedroom to rest. When Bobby was certain his grandfather was sleeping, the boy started on foot for the place where the accident had happened, two miles from the farm. There he turned from the trail and began searching the hillside for his pig, Herbert. Here, Herbert! Doing, doing, doing! At the cave hideout, Foxy and his two companions waited for darkness. Foxy was saying, I just thought we didn't get any supply. So, call it, we haven't anything to eat. Hey, listen, what's that? Let's go see. Hey, look, a porker. There's our food. Hey, somebody hunting that pig. Hey, look, I see him. A boy coming this way. Grab that pig quick. Hey, I'll get him. Come here, you. Hey, he ran into the cave. That boy's running up here. He heard the racket. We'll wait and get the boy, then we'll kill the pig later. We'll tie the boy and leave him in the cave where he won't be found for some time. Continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. Now to 
continue. Hearing the pig squeal, Bobby ran up the hillside. Yes, 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 Herbert! As he approached the cave, Foxy and his two friends stepped from the brush. Hey, where do you think you're going, boy? Oh, hello. I'm looking for my pig, Herbert. I heard him squeal a minute ago. Did you see him? Yeah, sure. He went inside that cave. Thanks a lot. I'll get him. Oh, wait a minute. We'll all go in. It's light enough in here to see. But there he is. That's Herbert. Never mind that pig, youngster. He'll make good eat. But he's mine. I raised him. Horses in here. Three of them. Why are you staying in this cave, mister? Forget the question. Sam, tie the boy. He got away and told anyone about us being here. The sheriff and posse had head this way pronto. Right. Let me go. I want to go home. Let me go. Oh, when you finish tying him, put a gag in his mouth to stop that whimpering. Right. Hey, Foxy. Hey, uh, he's heading for the cave entrance. Grab him. Don't let him get out. Run, Herbert. Run. There you go. Yeah, you let him get away. How did I know he'd move so fast? Never mind. You and Sam will catch him later. But don't use your gun. Somebody might hear the shot. Boys tied and gagged now. Good. We'll get that porker. And leave the boy here and head for New Mexico territory. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Tonto had learned of the robbery in town. They managed to find the trail of the crooks, in spite of Foxy's efforts to cover it. And by early afternoon, were riding a hill trail that led to Pete's farm. This same trail we ride this morning... From the half old fella, grandson. Yes, hello. Storm come up, Jim Funny. I noticed the dark clouds gathering. I hoped the rain would hold off until we found the crooks. Uh, we'll take shelter under that ledge to the left until the storm passes. Go oh, through there. Oh. quickly passed, but it lasted long enough to eradicate the track left by Foxy and his men. The Lone Ranger and once more started along the trail. At the scene of the wagon accident, they met Pete Digby, who told them Bobby had left a note, saying he was leaving to find his pig, Herbert. The rain had washed away the boy's footprints, and Pete was worried. Lone Ranger and Toto offered to help Pete search the hills. And they started out together. We'll search until we find him. All right, let's go. Come on, Silver. Don't come. Get up there. After the storm passed, Foxy watched from the cave entrance, while Sam and Jay, carrying lariats, went to find Bobby's pig. About a hundred yards from the cave, Jay spied the pig grubbing in the wet ground. Hey, look. There he is. I'll throw my lariat. <laughs> I got him. Come on, Sam. Help me tie him. Right. <laughs> Quickly, the two men woke the pig. Then, as it still squealed loudly, carried it to the cave. Good work. Take him inside. Yeah. And we'll butcher it and have plenty of pork to see us through. Some distance down the slope, the Lone Ranger, Toto, and Pete rode slowly through the brush. Suddenly, they heard the squealing pig. Listen. Oh, 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 squealing like something was... Must be Bobby's Herbert. That squealing came from up the slope. Yeah. Bobby! Bobby! That's right up there. Come on, come on. Get up there, come on. The tall brush hid the approach of the masked man and his companion as they moved slowly up the slope. Finally, the Lone Ranger pulled to a stop and pointed. Oh, 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 after going half the distance, the master saw the cave entrance through the brush. Look out of the cave. This must be the crook's hideout. The footprints go there. Ah. And what we do? We'll separate. You and Pete go one way, I'll go the other. We'll make our way to the base of the ridge. and move toward the cave entrance from each side. Ah. That's good. And they, uh, 
Must have heard Pete call Bobby's name. They know someone's on the slope. Uh, oh, wait, Pete. Instead of going with Todd, I have another plan for you. Go what? Go back down the slope to the horses. When you get there, start calling Bobby again. Then mount your horse and ride away across the clearing down there so they'll be sure to see you. You mean we're taking a bullet in the back? They think you're leaving without having discovered the cave. They'll not risk the sound of a shot. I hope they'll come outside to make sure you do right away. That's when Todd and I get the drop on them. Well, all right, I'll do it. Good. The three crooks had heard Pete calling Bobby and waited with ready guns just inside the cave entrance. Finally... There he is again. Hey, but he doesn't seem any closer. Hey, look, down there, across from the clearing. Somebody riding down the slope. He's in range. Oh, you fool, let him go. He didn't see the cave. He's leaving. A shot might cause somebody to investigate. I didn't think of that. Let's step outside and make sure he keeps going. Listen, go back. It was a smash, man. Oh, no. Get back to the cave, Jay. Oh, you not do that. Oh. Quickly, the masked man picked up the crook's gun, then went inside where he found Bobby bound and gagged. He released the boy who ran to meet his grandfather, who had joined Toto outside. Grandpa, I found Herbert, but those men, they wouldn't let me go home. Bobby, Bobby, son. Here are the horses, my bank's money's in the saddlebag. With your help, Pete, we captured the crooks and found Bobby in... Golly, Grandpa. I didn't know you were so brave. Well, now, I don't tell you everything, Bobby. We'll tie the crooks to their horses, then after leaving Herbert at your place, take them to town, Pete. Huh. We'll take Herbert to a cellar. Oh, no, please, Grandpa. Pete, if it hadn't been for Herbert, we wouldn't have found Bobby or captured the crooks. Uh, well, I reckon you're right, mister. All right, Bobby. Keep that doggone pig, Herbert. Thanks, Grandpa. Let's get started, shall we? It was sundown when the Lone Ranger and Toto watched from the edge of town as Pete and Bobby on one horse rode into Stockton leading the three horses to which the crooks were tied. Oh, ho there! Ho, ho, ho there! Hey, who are they? What's this all about? Well, get down, Bobby. <laughs> there you are. Steady, boy. <coughs> Somebody bring your sheriff out here. Yeah, here he comes now. Bobby. Hey, those are the three bank robbers. Hey, wait a minute now. What's going on? What do you know about that? Hey, how come those guys... You had a bank robbery, didn't you? Sure, but... Let's stop gaping and put these crooks behind bars. The cash is in the saddlebag. Great day. Pete Digby, you mean to say you capture these tough crooks single-handed? Well, they're here, ain't they? Why, I, I can't believe it. Ike Herbert has offered a reward for their capture. Oh, he's the man I named my pig after. Well, what? <laughs> uh, uh, what pig has that done? My pig, Herbert. Because of him, the crooks were captured. Well, I reckon that case, Ike won't care what you mean the pig. You going to be a pig man like your grandpa, Bobby? He's not a pig man. That's right. That reward I'm buying cattle. And I'll raise pigs on the side. Gosh. Then folks will call you a rancher. Folks will call him a hero, son, for capturing these crooks like he did. Well, I can't exactly take the credit for all of it, Sheriff. But a certain masked man and Indian helped me. A masked man and Indian? I don't... Sa- I... So that's it. <laughs> I might have known. <laughs> what are you laughing at, sir? Hey, what's the joke? No joke at all, men. I reckon it's all right to go ahead and pay that reward to Pete Digby. But all I want to say is, he's a mighty lucky hombre to have a friend who's known as Lone Ranger. I don't still, uh, The Lone Ranger 
Ranger, a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated, is produced by Pendle Campbell Muir Incorporated. A part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beard. Your announcer, Fred Boyd.